You joined me now, I'm in the 918. It over, doesn't it? Like, oh, there it is. He joined me today in Monaco. As you can maybe tell by my golf and Tag Heuer jacket, I am here with Tag Heuer today. If we spin around, you're gonna be able to see some pretty special cars behind me. We got some Porsches. Today, we're going on a road trip. Behind me, we've got a car which is very special to me because if you've been following this channel for a long time, you know I used to drive one of these a fair amount. 2.7 RS, extremely historic car, incredible to drive, and in this color, it's just absolutely beautiful. Next to that, We've got the modern version, the GT3 RS, and an even more luxurious car behind, Panamera for ultimate luxury cruising. Now today, we're with some Tag Heuer ambassadors. We've got Patrick Dempsey, who I'll be showing you later, and hopefully being able to talk to, who is an incredible ambassador for Tag Heuer, racing driver, he's actually a Heuer collector. So hopefully we'll get some time with him, but we're going on an incredible road trip today with all of these cars. We're leaving here from the Metropole in Monaco, and I'm just so excited. So let's get this day started. Last but most definitely not least, we've been joined by a 918 Spider, and I've just been told I'm so excited right now that I'm actually going to be hopping into this car for the first leg of today. I'm so psyched, 918, I haven't been in one of these since Gumball 2016, I think. So yeah, beautiful car, liquid silver, non visac package, but we're gonna be cruising with all of the others, Patrick Dempsey in the GT3 RS. Let's just get this started, I'm so excited, let's go. You joined me now, I'm in the 918. What a beautiful interior this is, we've got the red leather. Also, this is my driver right here. He's very kindly gonna be uh, driving me to the first stop, which is a Shell Morning. petrol station. But look at the inside here, it's gorgeous. We've got the sat nav screen up here. This screen to control anything that's radio and everything is touch so as you guys know of course 918 of these were made it is an absolutely rapid car and right now we are in electric mode i believe correct um so we can down, but we'll slowly work slowly our work up. our way up Hybrid those sport and race at the end race god that is going to be pretty special but i'm loving this color of this interior it's very very nice and for a hypercar quite rare we've actually got a cup holder very convenient. Yeah, it's a Starbucks on the way. It's Starbucks <laughs> on the way, exactly. We can put it in here. Well, 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 guys, 918 Spider. We've actually not been able to go on some proper twisties yet. We're on the motorway now, cruising to our first stop. But this is, this is unbelievable in this car. Uh, the sound it makes behind right here with the exhaust is just gorgeous. And you can feel that there's so much power just ready right there and it'll pin you into these seats which hold you in quite nicely. They're a bit, they're a bit harsh on the back, uh, but they do hold you in quite nice. And everything just feels so, yeah, top quality. I mean, as, as you would expect, you've got the most beautiful carbon work, all of the touch screens, all of the leather is just absolutely gorgeous. And surprisingly comfortable, obviously quite harsh for the, it's got a track set up. Um, so the suspension is, is, is hitting quite hard, um, but you can, you can probably do quite a few miles with these. As long as you're okay with the seats, you can, you can cruise along and get going. Uh, this one, I love the spec with the red interior. How special is this? We're now cruising on the motorway. Uh, we're in a bit of traffic right now, but the car's in all electric mode. So it's this beast with this amazing noise when you want it to be, but then now it's just so quiet. You're just cruising, it feels so smooth. And it makes this very futuristic spaceship-y kind of sound. It's just very cool. I thought I'd show you guys what it's like. And then at a certain point, the engine comes back on. I think if you switch it over, doesn't it like, oh, there it is. Yeah, and then it comes back to life and you're, you're certainly not gonna miss that. It's pretty noticeable. Hello you legends, you join me now in another car. We've gone from the most extreme Porsche you can get, the 918, to one of the most comfortable, the Sport Turismo Panamera Turbo. And I've also got a bunch of legends in the car with me uh, who are all over the place. We've got Supercar Blondie, 
Bruce, come on in, say hello, give us a wave. It's Bruce Lee, it's the Bruce Lee. That's it's right. the Bruce Lee. So yeah, we're just cruising 550 brake horsepower. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You, you remember this. Of 700 Newton meters of torque. Because I basically just hopped into this car. Well, we're only didn't have any about information. Of it right now. No, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. We don't feel that. That's not true. That's and we're even in an average speed zone right now, so I can't even be a bit cheeky and uh, and accelerate. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not. It's, it's not me, guys. He's paid us all cash up front to be in the car. Yeah, that's true. I've had to pay them all their fees in order to be in this video, guys. So you better like it because or else I'm broke. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really nice in here, isn't it, guys? It's like super luxurious. Everything feels quality. The leather feels really nice. It smells pretty new. And this center console is gorgeous. It's got all sorts of touch buttons. It is a bit tricky to figure out certain things. So I've got my lane assist on right now. We've been trying to figure out how to switch it off. No clue. So new, usually you just have a few little buttons uh, which you can press right here. You have to go through all of the systems in the computer and it's it's all a bit complicated. We figured the exhaust out. We have figured the exhaust out. So okay, here's normal mode. Th okay, this is not. Wait, wait, wait. I'll give it some acceleration. This is normal mode. Probably can't hear squat. Yeah. And then let's put it in sport. Here comes sport plus. It actually didn't it's change that. Same. Yeah, yeah. It really didn't change too much. Anywho, guys, we are going to be arriving at Le Luc Racetrack in a bit, where we're going to have a few cars to go around on track in. You guys excited? Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. You ready? Hey. Let's go. Yo, once again I'm back around uh, Real shit back in style uh, Haters reconcile uh, I'm so black and proud First class tickets now uh, Feet all in the eye uh, Everybody looking down Everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up I'm putting it down Okay, hello everybody I'm in the car now with Patrick, yeah? How are you? Good uh, day? I'm very well, thank you I'm going to be attempting to hold on to this While we go around the, all right. the track well, You'll be alright on the straight In the corner, my yeah, the corner under will be interesting. anticipate. How's it going so far? Enjoy. I'm having a blast, yeah this It's been... So cool. uh, it's been a few years since I've been in a GT car and certainly a Carrera Cup. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the GT, the Cup cars are a lot of fun. Yeah. They have a tendency to move around a lot, okay. and it's fun. Oh, uh, that's exciting. And I'm, I'm chasing our fellow uh, driver over here yeah, as a pro, so it's good. So it's good. You can see what he's doing. You can see all the lines. Yeah, I mean, stuff, I can't yeah. keep up, but it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing, amazing. And it's slightly damp now as well. Does that make yeah, a big difference the, for you? Yeah, the grip is fine. Okay. Uh, because we keep enough temperature in the tires, we yeah. should be okay. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, it's so much fun. God, the precision, you were millimeters oh, away from yeah, the It's fun, but uh, definitely um, getting down to the apex in the yeah. corner and uh, getting yeah. the momentum through the corner is yeah. good. Yeah, the grip is incredible. Oh, the slick tires. Slick we tires, slide yeah. a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. My for that. pleasure. Thank that you. That was so, so cool. You got to get wow. in the car and drive yourself. Yeah, I know. Now, now it's time for that. that. Yeah, exactly. All right. Go a on. safe trip to Le Mans. See you there. As you can tell behind me, we've been joined by a lot more cars. So we drove over in a few. But over here, we've got a bunch. We've got 991 first gen GT3, two GT3 Cups, 991 Gen 2 GT3 as well. Actually, I'm not sure if it's manual or auto. Let's see. It'd be pretty cool if it was a manual. Ah, no, it's auto. It's got paddle shifts 
Anywho, we've then got next to that the GT2 RS we drove here with, the 2.7, the Panamera, and the 918. So a very cool lineup of Porsches here, lots of them in the Golf livery because they are launching the new Tag Heuer Monaco Golf Special Edition, limited edition watch, which has just come out. So it's very cool to be able to see all the cars liveried it up and ready to go. God, that's a, that's a tongue twister. Liveried, liveried up. There we go, we got there eventually. Well, this is loud. They've just started an F1 car. Off go the Cup GT3. There's so much going on right now. How gorgeous is this Swiss plate for GT40? Okay, guys, the sound might not be great because I don't have my mic on, but I'm in the GT3 RS right now, about to go out on the track. This is going to be pretty special. Just two laps, I believe. Nothing quick. But uh, the last time I was on track in this car, was on ice, so not the same at all. instructions in French uh, which is very useful actually around this track obviously just three laps so learning the track braking super hard such an impressive car this the grip and the power that the brakes have and just how progressive you can be with it and how you feel every little bump that you feel any everything from from the rubber straight to your hands you can feel and that's the, the most amazing thing and the noise revving all the way to Eight and a half thousand revs is, uh, it's a special feeling. Yeah, so that was, that was fantastic. Merci beaucoup. Oh yeah, thanks. Well, let's have a bit of a recap then, finally. It's the end of the day, as you can maybe tell. Oh, look, GT40 actually had a bit of an issue, this one, old cars. It's a replica, it's not a real, but it had a little bit of leakage. So in the end, we're not able to take it out on track. We were going to, but all the cars have left, apart from the Panamera Sport Turismo back there. All the other cars have left, but let's recap. We started off the day by getting into a 918 and driving about an hour and a half, epic. We then drove the Sport Turismo Turbo, Turbo which I, is one of my favorite daily sort of cars and that was fantastic obviously not a full review that was sprung upon me all of a sudden so that was really cool to do then we came to track we went out with patrick dempsey on track in a cup car and then we finally drove a gt3 rs around the track pretty cool day i would say i feel so so fortunate to do this it's raining now so we're actually really lucky with the weather I feel so lucky to have been being able to do an experience like this obviously huge thanks to tag Heuer because they put all of this together which was pretty epic i mean this is just such a random sight behind me look at that oh i'll end the video with this in the background just because it's quite unusual so yeah it's been pretty epic i'm now going to be heading to Le Mans over the next few days. Never been to Le Mans before. If you don't know it, it's a hugely special race, 24 hours, and there's gonna be a bunch of other YouTubers there, and it's just my first time. It's gonna be my experience, and I'm super excited because I'm actually taking my sister with me, so it will be really, really nice to spend some time with her. I haven't seen her in ages. You guys will get to see her more, so I'm very excited for that. And yeah, overall, it's been epic, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for all the support. I wouldn't be able to have incredible experiences like this without you guys and your support. So yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, Tag Heuer, for putting it together. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Hey. Let's go. Bet. Hey.